Hey everyone, so I am so excited to share today's video with you guys. Today I am sharing five crock pot recipes with y'all. I have been in a bit of a cooking rut lately y'all. It happens from time to time. I'm sure that you mamas understand it gets to the best of us. We just end up feeling like we're cooking the same thing over and over again. And I was looking for some easy meals, crock pot meals. We are always running, you know, to a practice or a sports game. We've got different stuff that happens in the evening. So having dinner in the crock pot is a huge help to a busy mom and I needed these meals to feed a crowd. <laughs> um, so I am excited to dive in and share these recipes with y'all. I will have them linked in the description box below and I hope that you guys find some inspiration as well. Today we are gonna have Mexican beef stew for dinner tonight. So I have already got the pack of beef tips in the crock pot and getting that cooked on low. And then I'm gonna chop up the vegetables. Okay, so the beef tips are not as thought out as I had hoped. I did set them out. Um, but I think somebody else put them up in the fridge, which is fine. Um, it's early in the morning, so hopefully, you know, it'll be enough time for them to cook. It's like, that's one of the downfalls with crock pot meals is getting it started so early, but it will be nice this evening to have dinner done and not have to think about it. Um, obviously you can make this easier by prepping your vegetables the night before too. I did not do that. So <laughs> if you were extra ambitious and you could do that. Um, I did briefly think about it, but did not get around to it. So this recipe is really easy. I got it off Pinterest. It just kind of intrigued me instead of a traditional beef stew, doing a Mexican inspired beef stew. Um, so the difference is adding taco seasoning and Rotel. It sounds good. So a pack of beef tips, carrots, onion, diced potatoes, beef broth, garlic, and then the Rotel and taco seasoning. So pretty easy. Um, I'm pretty sure Nathan will like it. Some of the kids may not enjoy it, but if that's the case. They can just make themselves a peanut butter and jelly. Yes, we do allow that as long as they try it. That's fine by me. I don't like certain meals uh, myself, so as long as they try it. And I hear my water starting to boil. I need to go get that. Well, it has been eventful. <laughs> I, oh, I feel sick like anytime I try to do a crock pot meal in the morning. It's like a chaotic morning. And then I'm adding, you know, like dinner on top of all the chaos. I don't know. Anybody else relate? Goodness, so some of these potatoes really have a good bit of bad spots. I just bought them. Okay. So I did do a rough peel and chop for most of these. Um, I think I'm actually going to do more carrots because... I like carrots. Um, and that just doesn't look like very many carrots, does it? All right, gonna get. All right, the beef tips have been sitting in here, you know, while I got um, all the vegetables chopped. So, two tablespoons of taco seasoning. This was a half tablespoon measurement, so that's why I did four scoops. All right, I've got two cans of Rotel. All right. And then two cups of beef broth. Y'all, I have this electric kettle, and I just love it. I use it far more than what I thought that I would. Get all that. Measuring cup was dirty, y'all, so I'm totally using a mason jar. <laughs> oh. Rinse the rest of that out. Oh, I forgot to chop the onion. So I'll have to do that. But we got beef broth. Gonna get garlic in here. Get that going, and then I'll chop up the onion that I forgot. Got 
my potatoes and carrots. Oh my goodness, hopefully all this fits. I think it will. It'll fit. It's gonna fit. I do have a bigger crock pot though. <laughs> Maybe that would have been smarter. Alright, let me get this onion chopped up. Alright, getting the onion in here. So this is just half an onion. So this will cook all day. And I will check on it throughout the day. Y'all, I haven't even had coffee yet. But I got dinner done. It's going to be a good day. Okay, y'all. So it is now 3.15. And this is what the Mexican beef stew is looking like. It is smelling really good. But y'all, we had a little mishap. So I don't know how long, but the crock pot was not on. I am, well, I'm pretty certain. I actually, I know. I had turned it on, it was plugged in the whole nine yards. I've been stirring it a couple times. The meat was looking somewhat cooked, um, but I realized like I came to stir it and it wasn't on, like it was stone cold. So somebody, it was actually unplugged. So I think somebody needed the outlet, not realizing, you know, like a, a kid needed the toaster or something like that. It happens, but I was like, I'm just glad that I realized and didn't, you know, like this wasn't left on all day while we were gone or something. But so hopefully this will be done in time. I'm mean, still got about three hours to go before dinner. All right, it is later and it is looking really good. I added a cornstarch slurry and getting that thickened up. So I just made myself a little bowl. I'm really not that hungry, but I'm gonna try it for y'all and see how it is. And y'all, I thought about this so much after checking on it. Well, the vegetables are falling apart. I really should have chopped up the vegetables smaller. I don't know what I was thinking. It was before coffee. It was like, what, 8.30 in the morning, I said? So that's my excuse, but mm, we're hot. It's really good. Oh, hot. Very flavor, flavorful. A little spicy. Also did make homemade bread to go along with it. So, enjoy a nice bowl. So the beef tips are falling apart too. Probably should have taken a smaller bite on camera. I think Nathan will really like it. Some of the kids will, some of the kids won't. But we actually have leftovers from last night. So the kids that don't like it, like I said, they've got to at least try it. And the kids that do not like it can eat leftovers from last night, but it's really good. Definitely recommend. Mm. Good Saturday morning, y'all. So. We have a day of soccer today. We're going to be gone pretty much all day. First game's at 9, and then we have some time in between. And the next game is at 1 o'clock, I believe. So we are going to be gone all day. So it's perfect time for a crock pot meal. So today I am making Olive Garden's copycat gnocchi soup recipe, and I'm going to show that to y'all. So I knew we were going to be up early this morning, so I prepped some of this last night. So I've got my two chicken breasts here in the crock pot. I'm going to add four cups of chicken broth. I will scrape out that um, in just a minute. And then last night I diced up onions, carrots, and celery. So, you know, it saved me time this morning. And that has been in the fridge as well. So put all that in there. And then I got, oh, I gotta get the garlic out of the fridge. And then we just add some seasonings. Okay, so adding some Italian seasoning. Some salt. And some pepper. Pepper. 
So early in the morning. Huh. Alright, Logan wants to put the garlic in. Let's do uh, about half of that. There, that's good. There we go. Wait, you want to stir all that in? Yeah, but that spoon's fine. Here, I'll put the lid on. Get those veggies in the water. Good job. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Turn it on low, not keeping warm. Make sure it's plugged in this time. I know it's plugged in before, but it got unplugged, so I will let people know we got dinner in the crock pot. Please don't unplug it. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta get out the door. There are some other ingredients that I will add to this later on. Um, spinach and the gnocchi. And I think that's it. Like I just add that in the last 30 minutes of it cooking. So this will be on low for a few hours. We're gonna go, it's soccer time. Yeah. So we are back home from soccer. It is now 4.30, we've been home for a little while. So I am making a cornstarch slurry. Um, I have already shredded the chicken. It's shredded beautifully, it smells amazing. So then we will add the cornstarch slurry, a package of gnocchi, and then the recipe actually calls for two cans of evaporated milk. I knew that, but I knew that I had half and half on hand, so I'm just gonna use what I have instead of buying an extra ingredient on that. So I'm gonna add that stuff now. Okay, well, I already added the cornstarch slurry and stirred it in. I thought I was recording, but I was not, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna add the gnocchi. Get a bigger spoon to stir that with. This smells really good. So this needs to cook in the crock pot for about 30 minutes. And then before you're ready to serve it, you add two to three cups of fresh spinach. So we will let the snoky cook up with the chicken. I'm so excited to try this. All right, so I got about two handfuls of spinach in here. I'm not adding as much as they have said, um, mostly because I want my family to eat this. I would absolutely love it. We will just see how this goes. So adding a little bit. Get that all mixed in. Okay. Okay, and then that's got to cook down for a couple minutes. Okay, got my little tasting bowl here. I really don't have a lot of the juice in there. I was just trying to taste it real quick. Mm. That's really good. It's really good. I definitely recommend this. Mm. Do my little good happy dance. <laughs> oh, very good. We shall see what the consensus consensus is with Nathan and the kids. They don't like it. More for me. Another crock pot meal for the win. Busy day. We are going to a birthday party and have soccer practice this evening. You know, just all the things. So it is so good to have crock pot meals on days like today. If y'all haven't noticed a theme in my life on these busy days. So I got, I will show you. Well, you actually can't see it now because I was pouring the chicken broth over it. So there is um, chicken breast in the bottom and I should have shook that up better. Garlic, chicken broth, and then I'm adding Olive Garden Italian 
dressing, we are gonna do um, Italian chicken with pasta. So this will cook while we're gone, and then I will cook up the pasta once we're home and add a block of cream cheese to this after it's all cooked as well. All right, so it is now five o'clock. I have shredded the chicken and I added a block of cream cheese. And then I just added, I didn't measure, I added some heavy whipping cream. So this is gonna kind of be like, you know, an Alfredo-y type taste. I might've added too much whipped cream, not whipped cream. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, too much heavy cream. Let that kind of simmer. I'm gonna add some Parmesan as well. And I've got pasta over here that is starting to cook. Turn on the light there. Um, you just threw that. So all I had was penne pasta or bow tie. So I chose penne. Um, I think actually what I'm gonna do is just mix that chicken mixture with the pasta here. Um, once this is done cooking and then it will be time to head to soccer practice. <laughs> as soon as this is done, get that mixed in. So this is, I'm just kind of doing like my own version, but there's, it's not all over Pinterest. It's called Italian Crock-Pot Italian Chicken, I think um, is what it's going by. I'll find a link to something similar and put it in the description box below. All right, the pasta's done. So I added it to the Crock-Pot. Let's see if I can do this without making a humongous mess. Um, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. Top it with some Parmesan. You want to try it, Regan? Yeah. Mm. Regan's gonna be the taste tester today. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It needs to thicken up a little bit. I bet if it sits in there for a little bit, it'll thicken up. Hot. Okay. So I am getting this crock pot meal. Um, and my kids are insanely loud right now. It's like end of, it's like an hour, well, 45 minutes until bedtime. And it's just that hour, y'all. So that's what's going on in the background. But we are leaving really early tomorrow morning for a field trip. So I want to prep this and get it all in the crock pot. It's in Georgia. Yeah, so all I have to do is, is you know, one hour pop it in and turn it on. Yeah, we're going about just over an hour away. Um, will you get me three cans of pinto beans, please? Thank you. Pinto or the black one? Pinto. Okay, so this has a couple different names, what I'm making. Um, Frito pie is one name. Um, the actual recipe that I'm using from Pinterest is called like smothered three cans, please. Smothered taco bake, I think. So you could totally just do this in the oven or um, stove top. I'm not doing very good with these onions here. <laughs> Oh, the smell's already getting to me. I want to eat one. Oh, gosh. I'm going to start crying soon. Okay. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do it. You wanted to cut the onion so that you could cry? Uh-huh. All right. Well, here. You can take over cutting the onions. And... <laughs> Woo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. You like it? Silly girl. Okay. All right. So... I pre-cooked my ground beef earlier this evening. So I'm gonna put this in the crock pot. Let me get a spoon. Oh, it smells. There's a fork right here. It yeah. smells bad. The onion? Yeah. All right. All right, so that's about a pound and a half of ground beef. What are we gonna have for dinner tomorrow? So it's called Frito Pie or Smothered oh. Taco Bake. Frito Pie. Okay, so I'm going to add some taco seasoning to this. I don't really have this in the She's shelf. She's the one who only likes pie. Yeah. But I'm going to try it at least. This isn't that kind of pie. <laughs> oh. Might as well just add the rest of that, huh? There we yeah. go. All right. Oh. Oh, God. All right, the onion's now getting to Reagan. So I'm just adding a little bit of water. Oh, to get that taco seasoning mixed in. I should have added it whenever I cooked it earlier, but I wasn't really thinking about it. So I'm just gonna add that to the meat. That stirred in really good. Oh, that smell. 
Never cut an onion in your face. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you can dump it in the crock pot. Yeah, we've resorted to the chopper. Yes. It's way much better. You can't even smell it. <laughs> Besides, it went on the plate. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this off. There we go. Alright, so one can of Rotel. Three beans. Big beans. Three cans of Pinto beans. I mean, Pinto. Not big beans. Yes, Do not drain them. Just put them right in the pot. Yeah. And so this will just simmer all day. All then, night. So like for a couple hours. <laughs> no, while we're gone tomorrow. Uh, okay, so, you know, I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight. And then it will simmer all day. And I will be happy that I did this. <laughs> Coming home from a busy field trip. You got more onion over there? Yeah. All right. We'll finish adding the rest of the onion and then we will put this in the fridge. Okay, we are back home from our field trip. We had a lot of fun and we've got a messy kitchen to show for it. Um, so dinner is looking and smelling so good. So this is basically like a chili. Um, I thought about making rice. I might make rice. Nathan would like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll call him and ask him if he wants rice. So serve this over rice, um, Fritos, shredded cheese, you know, your normal taco toppings or chili toppings, what have you. So last night I also put together a loaf of sourdough bread. So that actually rested in the fridge. It sat out all night and you know, then I put it together, finished putting it together this morning and then it rested in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, yeah. So that's been in the fridge. I just put it in, um, let it rest for about 30 minutes and the Dutch oven I preheated too so we're gonna get this in the oven and let this bake and that will go along with our dinner okay so family's already made their plates and i'm just getting mine so it's messy obviously but here is my bowl everybody has said it's really good yes here's the bread and then you i made just use it for tacos too you can yeah just it on yeah tea on. i think that would be a really good idea and then i also made a copycat olive garden dip to go along with the bread I'm ready to eat. Okay, so today we are doing our fifth and final crock pot meal. I've really enjoyed doing these. They've kind of inspired me to try some new recipes. So it has been a lot of fun. So I put chicken in the crock pot a little bit ago. Um, I guess it was around 11 or so. Haven't had a chance to do anything else to it. I just wanted to get the chicken cooking. Everything else just pretty much has to warm through. So I'm gonna finish adding the ingredients and take y'all along. Okay, so the chicken has been on high. So hopefully, <laughs> I didn't do this too backwards, but you know, I mean, busy mom life, yeah, it's cooking, so it, I think it should be fine. So we are going to add a can of black beans drained and a can of corn drained, adding that. Then I am making, I'm gonna put the lid on that while I'm doing the rest. I'm making cream of chicken, um, getting that going. And then we will add that, and after, the chicken is done you add three cups of cooked rice so i've got the rice cooking now i forgot y'all to that you also add a can of rotel a cup of milk some taco seasoning and some paprika so i'm going to stir this together while we wait for the cream of chicken to Cook. I'm waiting for the butter to melt still. Get that going. All right, here is what it's looking like. The chicken is done and starting to fall apart. So I'm going to get this shredded and then I will add the rice to it. As I'm making a big old mess here. <laughs> All right, get this done. All right, so got. The chicken all shredded and the recipe i will have linked in the description box below i it's you're supposed to add cooked rice to it i'm not going to do that because one i'm just worried it's going to get kind of clumpy 
So I think we're just going to serve it like put rice on our plate and serve this on top of it is my plan. But there we go. Dinner's done. All right, here's dinner. Jackson's going to be my taste tester. It might be hot though. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> You're trying to pick out the black beans. Yep. You won't be able to even taste it. Um, sometimes I can. Okay. He doesn't like black beans. There's rice in there. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah, I'm taking this. Yeah, all right. Even with the black <laughs> beans? Huh? Even with the black beans? Yeah. All right. It. Yay! <laughs> Those are some good crock pot meals, right y'all? So we liked majority of them. I would say the least favorite was the gnocchi soup, which is honestly, I half expected. I enjoyed it and I think Jackson, so only one of our kids liked it. Nathan didn't care for it. He is not a fan of soup, so he likes more of like a chili consistency if we're having quote soup, um, even though that's not soup, it's chili, but trying to please all the people y'all. So let me know if you try any of these recipes. I would love to hear your opinion on them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video.